What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Lacrosse. This is the Maverick Max EKG. This is Maverick's newest addition to their long line of goalie protective equipment. I was provided this Maverick Max EKG by Georgian Court, the school that I pay tuition to go to. So in reality, I think it might have just came out of my tuition. However it was procured, I have it and I've been wearing it for about a month now. In the month of playing with the Maverick Max EKG, I have developed some very, very mixed feelings about this. Some good, some bad, some in the middle, and today I'm going to tell you all of them. I'm going to break the Maverick Max EKG down into two categories. The first one being protection, second one being comfort. Each category has a potential score of 50 points, which if you're a math whiz like me, that means that this could equal a potential score of 100 points. Now in my other videos, you know that I would break stuff down into three categories because I would incorporate styling, but for the sake of chest protectors, I don't really consider style in purchasing or, or reviewing something like this. So let's start out with protection. We'll act like a normal civilized human being and start from the top and work our way all the way down to the bottom. And speaking of the top, I am severely, severely hurt by these shoulder pads. Not mentally, but physically. The other day I was in goal and I was taking shots and, and I just got hit in the shoulder. Due to the construction of these shoulders, when I got hit here, I really felt it so much to the point where I had to step out of goal. For me, I was not used to this shot. And the reason for that is for the past four years, I have been wearing arguably the best chest protector on the market which was the Brian King. But now, due to regulations, I have to wear this chest protector. So when I got hit here, I was really surprised. And I got out and I'm like, crap, I gotta make a video about this now. Because that's what people do now. If they don't like something, they just make a video on it and, and post it to social media and rant about it. So I figured I just had to do the same thing. But in all seriousness, I do think that Maverick could have just went ahead and made a, just a, a solid pad here. I don't think that this little vent here contributes to a lot of heat coming out from your body and a lot of cooling on your body. I just, I think that as a goalie, you know, if you get hit in the shoulder, you might not be able to throw pads. It's happened to me before where you get hit in the shoulder in a game, you get a stinger and it's hard to throw and you're just like, here, take the ball and you make a really poor outlet pass. That happens a lot. And I have a feeling it might happen a little bit more being that these pads are so thin. Moving on to the chest portion of the chest protector, the actual cardiac protection area, this EKG plate, as opposed to the shoulders, it's like night and day. This plate is fantastic. I've been beamed with shots that were easily close to 100 miles an hour. The way that this disperses the energy from an impact of a, of a shot coming at you close to 100 miles an hour, it does it really well, almost to the point where you don't feel it. When I first got hit here with like a line drive sidearm shot, I was like, wow, did I even get hit? And that's not an exaggeration. Obviously, you know you got hit, but whatever this plate does is, is fantastic, and it really is going to save lives out there on the field. So in terms of this EKG plate, I would give this chest protector a 50 out of 50, but unfortunately, this plate is not the entire chesty. So we're going to look beyond this EKG plate, which is phenomenal, and we're going to go talk about some more crappy padding. Alright, so now that I have the chest protector on, if you have been playing for a long time, you've worn a couple chest protectors, maybe you're a coach or a parent, you're going to notice something in this area. I want to talk about an area of this chest protector that concerns me a lot. And I'm going to go back to my first day wearing this chest protector. I was wearing this in practice day one, I had this all fitted the same way it is now, and I took a shot right here to my left pectoral area and it completely missed the chest protector. I was black and blue and then it was green and it healed up and everything but it, I was really sore for about two weeks because I got hit with a shot. I totally mistracked the ball one day and I got hit right here and I really really missed my Brian King ever since then because the Brian King just does so much better of a job of covering your entire chest now I understand Maverick's theory with this is that they want to increase mobility for you as a keeper when your arms are moving and stuff and when you're in your stance your arms are forward 
and they want to make it more comfortable. For me, when I wore the Brian King, I never had an issue in my stance or anything of saying, wow, this is really cumbersome and, and I really wish there were indents in my pectoral area so I could squeeze my arms all the way together. For me, I think it's a big sacrifice and protection when you compare it to how much it saves in weight and, and how much more it's worth in ventilation and stuff. Um, I, I just am kind of disappointed in this section of the chest protector. Now when you come down here to the lower admin area, it's okay, it's not fantastic. The padding is a little bit thin, it is dense. I've been hit down here a little bit and you feel it. You feel it a lot more than you would in the Brian King, but it's not terrible, it's not great, it's just good. Uh, it, it, it's good padding, I trust it, I will go into a game with this, no problem, no contest. However, I do feel a little bit more safe wearing the Brian King. Overall, in protection, I'm going to give the Maverick Max EKG a 40 out of 50. Most of those points are going to go to the EKG plate right here. Moving on to comfort with the Maverick Max EKG, I have to say again, just like the pads down here, it's good. It's okay. It's not great. It's not poor, but it's just okay. And the main reason comes with this flap piece down here. Down here, there is a flap that is connected with these tabs down here. If you can see them, they're just like regular elastic straps that are stitched into the underside of the chest protector. Maverick's theory with this, and they introduced it with the Rome chest protector, is that when you bend over for a ground ball, this piece down here is supposed to slide up ever so slightly underneath the top portion of the chest protector to allow you to easily pick up a ground wall. For me, this has been nothing but a nightmare, and I'm going to explain why. As you can see on the side here, the straps that tighten the top portion of the chest protector down are stitched into this top portion. Down here, this flap is free to do whatever it wants. It's not conformed to my body as this top piece is. If Maverick wanted to make this effective, they would have a strap down here as well to conform to the body. Because what ends up happening is, when I bend over for a ground ball, being that this is kind of flapped out just ever so slightly, it pushes the chest protector up. The entire thing goes up, as opposed to this just coming underneath. If this was conformed to my body, it would slide up and underneath and do what it's supposed to do. But being that there's nothing here to keep it flush with the chest protector up top, it kind of just does whatever it wants, and it's kind of cumbersome. It's really cumbersome. When you talk about the top up here, it's actually kind of comfortable. I, I have no issues really up here with the top portion because this is what's secured to your body. Down here, this just does whatever the heck it wants. I think it's honestly unnecessary. This would be a much better chest protector if it was just one piece. Now talking about breathability and stuff and lightweight and everything that Maverick really, I think, goes for, with the Maverick Max EKG. They do give it that lightweight feel. This is a little bit lighter than the Brian King. Again, you're substituting protective qualities for more marketing stuff of, of being light and breathable. And for me, that's almost like an insult to Goldies. It's like, yeah, we know you're not gonna be as protected, but hey, it's light and it's breathable. Here you go, try it. Everything else, like I said, this is a pretty comfortable chest protector. It's not as comfortable as the Brian King. It's not as comfortable, I think, of the Nemesis, but it is a pretty comfortable chest protector. Overall comfort score for this, I'm going to give it a 39, I think, out of 50. It's not really a 40. It's not really in the 40 or, you know, up to 50 territory, uh, but I, I will give it a 39 out of 50 because this is relatively snug. It feels good in the top portion of your chest. So if we add up the two scores for the Maverick Max EKG and protection and comfort categories, it's going to equal 79 out of 100 possible points, which I think is pretty fair for this. I, I don't think this is a, a 80 or a 90. I think a 79 is pretty good because it does protect you very, very well in the cardiac area. Other than that, it needs some more padding. It needs some more focus on stopping shots that goalies just miss track because there's a lot of shots that just hit us in the chest. It's not always a bouncer. It's not always a rebound off of a stick or something. A lot of times we're just eating shots with our bodies. And I really would appreciate a product description that says it's a little bit heavier, but it's gonna protect you so much more. The padding's a little bit more dense, but it's going to protect you so much more. As opposed to 
we're cutting back on protective aspects for it being lightweight and breathable. For me, I don't know about you, but that as a goalie doesn't make me feel good. I want to know I'm protected when I'm investing in a product. I don't want to make this seem like I'm bashing Maverick or anything. I just really want them to take this if they watch this video as constructive criticism for the Maverick Max EKG. I think it's a great foundation, but if I were to make any changes to the Maverick Max EKG, I would add just a thin row of padding that comes, maybe it starts right here and comes up and covers the pectoral areas a little bit. They can incorporate it so maybe it's like a flap. So if you came in like this, it would, the pads would flap in. Also, I would just totally eliminate this flap down here. I, I just think that it's kind of cumbersome. I just think if this was a solid piece and you had some more pectoral padding and then everything was just a little bit more dense, take these pads and just double it. Then this thing would really be a solid piece of protective equipment for goalies. So again, I don't want to make this seem like it's all negatives. There are positives of the Maverick Max EKG. It's lightweight, it's breathable. The cardiac protection is astronomically fantastic. It's easy to put on and off. It's relatively comfortable, but I just think it can be so much better and that's why I'm giving it such a low score. If you've gotten this far in the video, make sure you subscribe below, like the video, comment what you think is the best goalie protective equipment out there. It could be helmets, it could be chest protectors. What do you think as a goalie the most important piece of equipment is? Like always, I hope you guys are staying safe, you're happy, you're healthy, everything's good at home and with your teammates and your coaches, your families and everything. Uh, we're still in a crazy time. Some of us aren't even allowed to be playing lacrosse. So if you're in that position right now, I couldn't imagine how you feel just not being able to be out there with your team. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.